Now, before I continue, I want to take this moment to say, Vega Helmet USA, thank you. No, seriously, thank you. Because of this helmet, it taught me a lot that I didn't know in terms of what I was looking for as a beginner. Thanks to this helmet, I can honestly say from now and forever as I'm always riding, I'm getting a full face helmet. Thanks to this helmet, I know what features that I feel are important and things that I feel that I need in terms of a motorcycle helmet. So, with all that being said, Vega USA, even though this helmet taught me a lot and I experienced a lot, it was like as if you guys were my teacher, you guys were my professors, you guys taught me how to become more into that level of intermediate. So with that being said. You are definitely. An added option. For the next time I'm looking for a motorcycle helmet. Your company brand. Is an added option. And for that. Thank you. Now. With that being said. I still assess my. Statement as this would make a great beginner motorcycle helmet. Yeah, even a secondary passenger helmet, if you want to look at it like that. And, like I said, I mean, even for you experienced riders, looking back at this DOT and ECE rating, once I get the glare out of the way so it can focus. There we go. You can already tell, just by, you know, if you're looking what at what I'm looking at, yeah, you can tell, yeah, this is not terrible. It's decent, but there are better options, and believe me, there are, but... Not, nothing wrong with that. Also, I already mentioned about, you know, not, because this doesn't have a drop-down visor or when I purchased this helmet, it did not come with a secondary visor that was tinted, which would have made things so much better for me. I mean, seriously, so much better. But because it didn't, it, it didn't. Now, but at the time, I was new, so I didn't know what I was looking for. But like I said, this helmet taught me a lot. Another reason is because if you see right here at the neck cushion, what do you notice that's not there? Well, the emergency release latch. In case you get in an accident and the EMT or any me medical professional needs to remove your, the helmet from your head safely, with this helmet, I mean, it, it is possible you can still remove it, you know, if they do know how to operate the D-rings and everything, but at the same time, and it's a good thing all of these are removable. What you see here, all of this, all this right here, is all removable. Everything inside the helmet, especially these. It's all removable and this. So that's a good thing. But because it doesn't have that emergency release thing, yeah, it's going to be a difficult time and moment for whoever is trying to check up on you in case of an accident. Now, speaking of accidents. A lot of people don't seem to know or realize that once you get in an accident and this motorcycle saved you, it protected your dome, your face, and everything, guess what? It served its purpose. It's no longer usable. What that means is, and, you know, I understand people ain't the richest in the world. Like, you know, helmets can be pricey depending on who you go to to purchase your helmet. But what, no matter what brand or model or even a coloration, once it served its purpose, you cannot reuse it or wear it again. Because guess what? In case of another incident or near situation or another accident, it's not going to be able to protect you. It served its purpose. Even if you put it somewhere high and there you know you accidentally dropped it like it's a high impact drop no matter who's at fault guess what it served its purpose now when i say by high impact drop i mean it has to be somewhere high but if it was somewhere low like you say you put on a couch and it just rolled off by accident and hit the floor it's not going to really do much you know same thing like you know say you went on a very low end table and it just you accidentally kicked it or whatever it's it's a low impact, it's a low impact, but high impact, yeah, 
And that's all because the material they use on the inside. See, a lot of people don't seem to know. The shell, yes, it makes the impact between the ground and the helmet. But, and it's not just the cushion. You know, the cushions are cushions. They're for comfort and protection. But what's on, even beyond this cushioning area, you see those mesh part? It's beyond these material. It's between, sandwiched between the shell and the mesh part is pretty much a strong material that absorbs the impact. It's kind of like styrofoam in, in a way, where once it absorbs the impact, guess what? It became brittle. It becomes shattered like glass. That's why they always say, you know, once you use the helmet and you got in an accident, replace that helmet. Because the material on the inside, it, it's done. It, it did its purpose. It's like a one-hit wonder. You know, but, it, and I do firmly assess that, replace the helmet. Now, even if you were, did not get in an accident, which is, knock on wood, I haven't gotten in an accident, and I do hope and wish none of you guys out there get in an accident, seriously, so, ride safe. But, even if you've never been in an accident, again, knock on wood, every motorcycle helmet... Once again, doesn't matter the brand name, the model, or whatever. They all have a lifespan. Yeah, every motorcycle helmet has an expiration date. If we were to look on the inside, right here. Now, I tried this earlier by going inside to show this, and it didn't work out well. But, right here, this, this tag right here. It Not only will it show the size of the helmet, but it also shows the month. And a year of when that helmet was made. When it was finished with the production. You know, the specific helmet. Not the batch. Not, you know, the line. I'm talking about that specific helmet. It put down the month and year that it was done. And it was put, you know, that means it was complete, done, packaged up, and was put out to go into the dealership to be sold. The lifespan has already started. It's going to start deteriorating to the point where once it expires, you're going to have to replace the helmet. Because the material inside, like I said, like a styrofoam, as the years go by, it starts deteriorating. It starts weakening. And depending on what you've been doing in terms of your own you know, hair or lack of hair or whatever you've been doing inside the riding when you ride with this helmet on, will affect... The material on the inside of the shell. So yeah. Overall like I said. It makes a great beginner's helmet. And I already mentioned. You know the thing that I'm. Not a fan of. And another thing. Not that many helmets have this. But this guard right here. Like even when you ride this open. The fact that it will still deflect. You know the breeze or anything. From making contact with your nose or your skin area. Is awesome. And yeah. You can even take this visor off and wear a goggle over it. You know, some people prefer that, which is not a problem. And that's one of the cool things about this helmet. And speaking of which, this helmet, depend now that you know what type of rider you are in terms of riding position and stuff, because I'm this is why I'm glad this is a multi-purpose helmet, because as I shown earlier, how the, the position do affect how you ride and how you wear the helmet. It will give you a better understanding what type of helmet to be looking for. For example, if you're a sport bike rider, you will be looking for more in tune a sport bike riding helmet. If you're touring, you know, all those things. So like I said, great beginner's helmet. And thank you Vega USA. And overall, yeah, would I still recommend it for beginners or a secondary passenger helmet? Yes, I would. But like I said, check out its life expectancy because this is where you got to pay attention to your owner's manual some motorcycle helmets are good for five years some are good for six years some are good some are even lower actually but it all depends on what the owner's manual says about that specific helmet and, it, and i'm not talking about the batch i mean the actual specific helmet for me i got till 2021 pretty much next year what do that mean once October hits, I have to seriously no longer wear this helmet and look for a different helmet. 
So like I said, this helmet taught me a lot. I know what to look for. Hopefully this video helps you guys out. And Vega USA, once again, thank you. Alright then, later.